Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In, their, in our today's video, ang gagawin naman natin is we will do part 2 on how to simplify complex fractions. So, in our previous video, we discussed on how to use method number 1 and method number 2 on how to simplify complex fraction. But, in this part of our video, ang maging method na mag-focus tayo ay yung paggamit ng method number 2. In which, we will multiply the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction using the LCD of the denominators. So, para hindi na natin patagalin pa yung ating discussion, simulan na natin yung pag-simplify ng item number 1. We have here, simplify the complex fraction below. We have the complex fraction 1 plus 1 over x all over 1 minus 1 all over x squared. So, as you can see, sabi ko nga sa inyo sa ating um, sa ating method na gagamitin is we will multiply the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction using the LCD of the denominators. So, we have here the denominator of x sa ating numerator and the denominator of x squared sa ating denominator. So, paano ba hanapin yung LCD niyan? So, yung LCD ng x and x squared ay x squared. Meaning, we will multiply the whole complex fraction by x squared. So we have 1 plus 1 over x all over 1 minus 1 over x squared. Multiply lang natin to by x. So you have here x squared. Ito rin multiply by x squared. And then multiplying it, we multiply into 1 times x squared, that will give you x squared. And then ito naman, pag multiply natin to, it will give us x na lang. Plus x. Kasi, oh, wala na yung denominator. And then for your denominator, Kung sinimplify natin to, 1 times 1, that will give you x squared. Then, for the second term, that is minus 1. Bakit? Kasi makakancel na itong dalawang to. Yung numerator and denominator. So, as you can see, to simplify your, your answer, we can factor out our numerator bilang x times x plus 1. Tama? And then, your denominator, since difference of two squares, it can be factored out as x plus 1 times x minus 1. So we can eliminate x plus 1 in your numerator and x plus 1 in your denominator. And then the final answer or the simplified form of the given complex fraction is x over x minus 1. This is the simplified form of the first given complex fraction. Okay? So let's move on to item number 2. Simplify the complex fraction below. Medyo complicated in structure ng ating second complex fraction. We have 2 over x minus 2 over 3x all over 1 over x minus 5 over 6x. As you can see, meron tayong 4 denominators, which is x. 3x, x, and 6x. Now, hanapin natin yung LCD. So, ang LCD niya, LCD niya is 6x. Meaning, ang ipamumultiply natin sa numerator and denominator of the complex fraction is 6x. So, sulatan natin. We have 2 over x minus 2 over 3x all over 1 over x minus 5 over 6x. Pag minultiply natin yan by 6x, distribute natin, that will be 2 times 6x over x. Ito naman, minus 2 times 6x over 3x. 
and then for your denominator so will give you 6x over x and this one pag multiply natin 5 minus one time minus 5 times 6x over 6x so meron tayong mga makakancel out na part ng ating solution ito makakancel out natin yung variable x ito naman we can cancel out x and then 3 tapos ito magiging 2 so that will be 12 minus 4 for the numerator. At yung ating denominator naman, cancel natin yung x and x. It is 6 minus ito. You can cancel out 6x and 6x. It will give you 5. And simplifying your numerator and denominator, you have 8 over 1 or simply 8. As you can see, the final answer or the simplified form of the second, the second complex fraction is none other than 8. Though com complicated nature na ating given complex fraction, at the end, the answer is 8. Again, that is how to use method number 2. So, I hope natutunan yung concept on how to simplify complex fraction. At kung meron kayong mga question about the solution, pwede kayong comment below. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Don't forget to like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you.